you watched my tutorial videos and now you're ready to do a DJ gig with the amazing DJ Pro app. Whether you use the app on your iPad, your phone, or the laptop, this video will show you how to set up a professional DJ booth with this amazing app for not a lot of money. I'm going to show you guys how to build this booth from the ground up. So we're going to start with the table. This is the most important thing. And this is one of the most inexpensive things, but the most important things. So when you're picking out tables, there's a couple of things to choose from. Most of the tables that you're going to, that you're going to come across are not going to be the correct height. There are some that you could order from Amazon. I'll leave links down below that are adjustable height. But when it comes to the table for your DJ booth, the height is the most important thing because you don't want to spend hours working at a table that was meant for sitting when you're standing because then you are going to get back pain. And if you're like me and you've been doing physical labor jobs as your day job your whole life, it's not fun to have back pain. Most of you probably already have a table, a fold-up table lying around in your garage or a shed or somewhere. So with just by, just by getting these, ta these table risers, then you can use the table that you already have and they're not expensive you could find them at home depot you could order them on amazon i'll leave a link below but these table risers was like the biggest hack so that i could get the so i could make my regular table into a dj table so now our table is at the right height but we're gonna look a little bit silly with just a table it's not gonna look that professional so i found the easiest way to make your dj booth go from just just a bridge table to a DJ booth is by getting a, using a black non-fitted sheet. Make sure it's not all wrinkled, folded up nice. And then once you set up your table and it's at the right height, put this tablecloth over it at the black tablecloth you can get them from Walmart. I'll leave links down below. And now your booth goes from looking like a bridge table to looking like a DJ booth. So now the next thing we're going to need is to have the device that we're DJing at the correct height, especially if you're DJing with the iPad or the phone. So there's a couple of options. I recommend is using a controller that has a built-in stand. I use the Reloop Buddy, and then this has a built-in stand. As long as you're not using an iPad case that is too big, I used to use the outer box and it was too big, and then I switched to this setup, which is just a cheap kind of see-through protector and then a screen protector. If you don't like the controllers available that have built-in stands, then you can go with an iPad stand, but these are expensive. If you want to get a good one that's actually going to hold your iPad well, it's going to cost close to $100. So keep that in mind, and this is very important. Could go with the cheaper ones, but then you're not going to be able to adjust the angle and you might not have the right angle. And when you're DJing and doing a gig, especially for hours and hours, you're going to want to be comfortable. So pick out the correct iPad stand, or if you're doing this with a laptop, they have a huge selection of laptop stands because that's the way that most people DJ these most people DJs now. Next, you're going to need a speaker system. So most of the people that are going to be starting out doing their first couple of DJ gigs aren't going to be headlining at EDC or Miami's Ultra Music Festival. You're probably going to be doing mobile gigs for friends and families when you're just starting out. That's what I did. You're probably going to need your own speaker system. Now, if you show up to a party and DJ with speakers that are not loud enough, don't have enough bass, and don't fill the room with music, then no one's really going to pay attention to your DJing, and it's pretty much not worth it. So I recommend getting a sound system that is versatile, so a sound system that you could have set up at your house when you're, when you're practicing and use those speakers to practice DJing and practice DJing with speakers that are big enough to fill a room. And then also when you do get booked for your first gig, you could use the, you could use these speakers when you're doing a gig. So with the DJ Pro app, it is not 100% necessary for you to get an external mixer. So there are a lot of speaker systems that you could order from Amazon or even get from stores that will work perfectly. The first thing that you're going to want to make sure is you get speaker stands. Trust me, I did my first gig with speakers just on the table and it looked silly. Nobody really paid attention and it looked very unprofessional. There are so many speaker stands that are affordable, lightweight, and easy to set up. So get these speaker stands. You don't need the biggest speakers in the world. I went with these speakers. I bought these at a pawn shop. These are Samson speakers. They have a built-in mixer, which is pretty cool. And then it... And then I had the stands, so these are professional. No, it's not going to rock a whole stadium or a huge club, 
But for the small DJ gigs that I usually do, these are perfect. So make sure you get speakers that are loud enough and big enough. The next thing that you're gonna need to make your DJ to make your DJ booth look professional is some types of visual elements. So I would recommend, especially if you're using the DJ Pro app for the iPad, to have a TV or projector that you could connect so you could DJ with music videos. This makes it so you could this not only makes your DJ gigs look your DJ booth look more professional, but it will make It'll make people pay more attention these days. People have less attention spans, so having a visual element to your DJ, opposed to just playing music, will make you stand out so much more as a DJ. So I would recommend getting a projector. I use the Kodak Lumis projector. I'll leave a link down below, and it connects to your iPad so easily. And then you can con and then you can either connect it to a projector or to a TV. Uh, uh, to a TV, you could get either a projector or a TV for very cheap. You don't need to get a 70 inch TV. You could get a regular 30, 30 inch, 25 inch TV and then set it up to the front of your DJ booth or set it up behind your DJ booth or you could use the projector with a projector screen behind you. If you wanna learn more about video mixing with DJ Pro, check out this video over here. Thank you.